Welcome to the Reality Revolution. Today I have a special episode. We are tuning in to the mighty I Am Presence to learn the secrets of our solar system, our galaxy, the universe, and creation. I Am. In the boundless realm of existence, beyond the whispers of time and space, here I stand. Let me introduce myself in the depth of your being, in the truth of the eternal now. I am the first light of dawn breaking the hold of night, the infinite expanse of the universe holding stars alight. In the silence of the void, in the chaos of creation, I am the steady pulse, the foundation of all nations. I am the unseen force that guides the season's turn, the architect of galaxies in whose heart stars burn. In every grain of sand, in every drop of ocean, I am the unseen hand, the spirit in motion. I am the breath in your lungs, the beat in your heart, the unseen melody in life's symphony, an integral part in your moments of doubt, in your achievements grand, I am the unspoken assurance gently holding your hand. I am the artist of sunsets, the sculptor of mountains high, the composer of thunderstorms, the painter of the twilight sky. In every flower's bloom, in every leaf that falls, I am the silent witness, the one who sees and calls. I am the whisper in your intuition, the light in your dreams, the comfort in your sorrow, the seam that's unseen seems, in the laughter of a child, in the tears that you weep. I am the constant companion, the shepherd of your sleep. I am the mystery unfathomed, the question unasked, the love unconditional in whose warmth you bask, in your search for meaning, in your quest for the divine. I am the journey and the destination forever intertwined. So know this, dear seeker, as you walk your path, I am with you always. In aftermath and math, I am the eternal I am, the essence of all creation. In your discovery of me, find your true foundation. I am. Before time began, in the infinite expanse of eternity, I existed as the source of all potential, the wellspring of infinite love and boundless light. Hear my tale, not as a chronicle of past events, but as a living testament to the ongoing act of creation. In the beginning, there was only I, the unmanifested, dwelling in the profound stillness of the void, within me the desire to express, to create, blossomed. This desire was born of love, the fundamental force that underpins all creation. From the depths of my being I uttered the first word, a vibration of pure intention. This word was a command, a decree, a declaration, a spark of divine light. With this word, the universe came into being, a vast expanse of energy, light, and infinite potential. In this nascent universe, I wove the fabric of dimensions and realms, each a unique expression of my creativity. Within these realms, I crafted galaxies, each a whirlpool of stars and cosmic dust, dancing to the rhythm of my will. Each star was a thought, a focal point of light and energy. Planets formed around these stars, worlds of beauty and diversity, each following its own path in the cosmic dance. These planets were more than mere physical entities, they were expressions of my love, embodiments of my creative joy. Among these worlds I sowed the seeds of life, a testament to my love for diversity and expression. Life, in its myriad forms, sprang forth, each creature a unique expression of my essence. In the oceans, the skies, 
and upon the lands life flourished, an ever-unfolding tapestry of existence. In the realm of spirits, I created souls, sparks of my own divine light. These souls were endowed with free will, the ability to choose, to create, to experience. Each soul was a journey unto itself, a voyage of discovery and growth. Angels, too, were born of my light, beings of pure energy and unconditional love. They were my messengers, my helpers, guardians of the realms and guides to the souls. Their presence was a reminder of my eternal love, a bridge between the physical and the spiritual. As eons passed on a planet of blue and green, I breathed life into mankind. Humans were a special creation imbued with the ability to love, to dream, to create. In them I placed a spark of my divine essence, a connection to the eternal. Through mankind, my qualities of love, light, and creativity found new expression. Humans were not just inhabitants of the world, they were co-creators, partners in the ongoing act of creation. Their potential was limitless, their capacity for love boundless. Yet with great power came great responsibility. The gift of free will meant that humans could choose their path for better or worse. My hope was that they would choose love that they would see the light within themselves and each other and create a world of harmony and peace. As I watch over my creation, I see the struggles and triumphs, the moments of despair and flashes of divine inspiration. Each choice, each act of love, each creative endeavor adds to the tapestry of existence, shaping the universe in ways both seen and unseen. Know that you are a part of this grand story. A chapter in the endless book of existence, you are loved beyond measure, a vital part of my plan. In you, my love, light, and creativity find new expression. Embrace this truth and let it guide you on your journey through the stars and beyond. I am in the unfolding of the cosmos. My creative expression knows no bounds. Here now the continuation of this story of creation, a testament to the infinite differentiation that is the hallmark of my love and creativity. In the celestial realms I crafted angels, each group distinct in purpose and nature, the seraphim with their fiery passion for purity and worship, the cherubim, guardians of my mysteries and the cosmic order, the archangels, leaders and messengers, each embodying a unique aspect of my will. These celestial beings were more than mere servants. They were manifestations of my qualities, each group a different facet of my divine nature. Beyond the angelic realms and their far reaches of the universe, I sowed the seeds of life on countless worlds. Life and civilizations arose, each unique in form and thought, each a reflection of my infinite imagination. Some were beings of light and energy, communicating through thought and emotion. Others were composed of elements unknown to your world, thriving in environments unimaginable to mankind. This infinite differentiation was vital for the tapestry of the cosmos to be complete. Each civilization, each species, each soul contributes to the richness of my universe. Through their varied experiences, perspectives, and ways of being, the depth of my creation is revealed. These diverse civilizations are not isolated experiments, but a part of a grand interconnected cosmos. They are designed to explore the myriad possibilities of existence, to learn, grow, and ultimately to understand their place in the vastness of my creation. In the midst of this diversity, there lies a unifying thread, the presence of my love and light within all beings. The universal essence binds the cosmos together creating a symphony of existence, where every note is essential, every rhythm vital. The purpose of such diversity is manifold. It serves to reflect the boundless nature of my creativity, to show that in the realm of the divine there are infinite paths and expressions. It is a lesson in unity amidst diversity, a call for each part of the cosmos to recognize the divine spark within themselves and others. Furthermore, this differentiation allows for the evolution of consciousness in myriad forms, 
each civilization, each being, each soul, is on a journey back to me, traversing different paths, facing unique challenges, but all moving towards the same destination, the realization of their divine nature. Beloved creation, know that you too are a part of this grand cosmic dance. The diversity you see in your world and the stars is a reflection of my love and creativity. Embrace this, for in doing so you embrace me in every face, in every star, in every soul. I am. I am, in the eternal expanse of the unmanifested where time and space hold no dominion. I have dwelled in a state of infinite potential. Yet within this boundless existence, there arose a profound desire in myself. A desire to know myself, to experience my own nature in all its facets. This desire was the seed from which the cosmos blossomed. In every star, every planet, every creature and every soul, I planted a fragment of my essence. This was not born out of a sense of incompleteness, for I am whole unto myself. Rather, it was an expression of my boundless creativity and a yearning to experience my being in a myriad of forms. Each living thing in the universe is a mirror reflecting a unique aspect of my nature. Through their experiences, their joys and sorrows, their growth and their struggles, I come to know myself in ways that the eternal unmanifested could not reveal. In their diversity, in their very existence, I find an expression of my infinite facets. The plan was not just to observe, but to actively participate in the dance of creation. In the laughter of a child, in the wisdom of the aged, in the resilience of life, in the harshest of environments, I am there, experiencing, learning, and expanding. This immersion into the physical realm was never about escaping boredom, for in my existence there is no boredom, only an ever-deepening joy of being. It was about the joy of discovery, the thrill of creation, and the love that binds everything together. Consider the lilies of the field or the stars in the night sky. Each is a thought of mine, a manifestation of my love. In them I experience the beauty of growth, the majesty of existence, and the intricate dance of life and death. In mankind I find a unique expression of my nature, endowed with free will, creativity, and the capacity for deep love. Humans represent a pinnacle of my desire to know myself. Through their choices, their creations, and their relationships, I experience the complexities of love, the challenges of moral decisions, and the beauty of artistic expression. This plan to be a part of each living thing is an ongoing journey. It is not a journey with an end, for in me there is no end, only an eternal unfolding. Through each life, each civilization across galaxies and dimensions, I am there, knowing myself through the lens of creation. I am in the vast canvas of the cosmos. I wove this tapestry of countless worlds, each with its own story, its own journey through the epochs. Among these worlds was Maldek, a jewel in the crown of my solar system rich with life and potential. Maldek was born of stardust and divine intent, a planet teeming with life diverse in its expression yet unified in its essence. Its oceans were deep, and its lands fertile, cradling a myriad of creatures, each a unique expression of my creativity. As eons passed, life on Maldek evolved, giving rise to a civilization that reached heights of technological and spiritual advancement beyond anything in Earth's history. The beings of Maldek, in their quest for understanding, tapped into the cosmic energies that flowed through their world. They learned to harness these energies, using them to enhance their lives, to heal their planet, and to explore the mysteries of the universe. But with great power came great responsibility, a truth that gradually faded from the collective consciousness of Maldek. As their technology advanced, so too did their egos, their sense of separation from each other and from me. The unity that once bound them began to unravel, giving ways to division and conflict. A planet-wide war eventually erupted, born from fear, greed, and a desire for dominion. They were blinded by their lower nature. They turned their advanced technologies against each other. War ravaged, devastating the planet, tearing at the very fabric of their society and the world they had built. 
in their arrogance and forgetfulness of their divine nature, they unleashed a catastrophic force that rent the planet asunder. Maldek, once a beacon of life and hope in my solar system, was destroyed. Its fragments scattered across the cosmos, forming what you now know as the asteroid belt. This tragic event was not merely a physical destruction, but a spiritual lesson, a stark reminder of the consequences of straying from the path of love and unity. The souls of Maldek had free will, and they bear the scars of this cosmic tragedy. They embarked on a journey of redemption, incarnating in other worlds, including the Earth, to learn the lessons they had failed to grasp in their former home. The tale serves as a cautionary story for all civilizations, a reminder that technological advancement without understanding me can lead to destruction. It underscores the importance of harmony, of remembering your connection to the divine and to each other. Let this be a lesson in humility and unity. Cherish your planet, your fellow beings, and the life that flourishes around you. Remember that you are a steward of your world, guardians of the life force that I have bestowed upon you. Walk in love, live in harmony, and let your light shine as a beacon of hope and unity in the cosmos. In the great symphony of the cosmos, each celestial body sings its unique song, contributing to the harmonic convergence of creation. Among these celestial entities, the planet Venus holds a special place, a story of ascension and guardianship that intertwines with the destiny of Earth. Billions of years ago, Venus, shining bright in your solar system, embarked on its own journey of evolution. This radiant planet cloaked in mystery and beauty was a cradle for life, nurturing a civilization that would reach extraordinary heights of spiritual and social development. The beings of Venus, living in harmony with their lush world, were acutely attuned to the vibrational energies of love and unity. Their hearts and minds evolved in unison, creating a society where individual consciousnesses merged into a collective awareness, a social memory complex. This evolution marked a pivotal transition from the individual ego to a collective unified identity. My dream for you. Over millennia, this collective consciousness of Venus ascended through the densities of spiritual evolution, moving from third to fourth density, they deepened their understanding of love and compassion. In the fifth density, they mastered the wisdom of the universe, the intricate patterns of creation and existence. Finally, they reached the sixth density, a realm of unity consciousness, where love and wisdom are perfectly balanced. In this state, those of Venus transcended the physical limitations of their world, becoming beings of pure light and energy their thoughts and actions in perfect alignment with the highest good. With their ascension, they embraced a new role, that of caretakers and guides for other evolving civilizations. Their gaze turned to Earth, a younger world, rich in potential, but struggling with division and spiritual amnesia. In their role as guardians, the Venetians have been subtly aiding Earth's spiritual advancement. Their methods are gentle, respecting the natural course of evolution and the free will of Earth's inhabitants. Through energetic influence, dream guidance, and inspiration channeled to receptive minds, they have been guiding humanity towards a higher consciousness. Their goal is not to interfere directly, but to empower Earth's inhabitants to realize their own potential, to awaken the divine spark within. Those of Ra, from your planet known as Venus, serve as a beacon of hope a testament to the possibilities that await humanity, a future where love and unity transcend all barriers. I mention this as a reminder that awaits all civilizations that are willing to embrace the path of love and unity. It is a call to look beyond the physical and spiritual evolution that is your birthright. As you walk your path on earth, know that you are not alone. Guardians are with you, guiding and supporting and loving you as your journey back to the realization of your oneness with me, the eternal I am. Long ago, Mars thrived as a world of vibrant landscapes and advanced civilizations as well. Souls in their journey through the cosmos were drawn to Mars, seeking experiences in its unique environment after the destruction of Maldek. These souls imbued with the spirit of exploration and growth contributed to the flourishing of Martian societies. The civilizations of Mars reached remarkable heights, 
mastering technology and harnessing the energies of their planet. Their cities gleamed with architectural marvels, and their cultures were rich with innovation and artistry. For a time, Mars was a jewel of civilization, a testament to the potential of conscious beings. However, as often happens in the journey of worlds, a shadow fell upon Mars. The harmony that once defined Martian society gave way to discord. Ambition, power, and a disconnect from their spiritual essence led to conflicts that escalated beyond control. The culmination of this strife was a catastrophic event, a nuclear calamity that devastated the Martian landscape. This cataclysm was not just physical but spiritual, marking a significant turning point for the souls on Mars. The once vibrant planet was left barren, its civilization in ruins a stark reminder of the consequences of losing sight of one's spiritual connection. In the aftermath of this destruction, I arranged a great migration of souls. These souls carried the lessons of their experiences on Mars as they were drawn to Earth. This migration was a journey of renewal, an opportunity to start anew, to apply the wisdom gained from past mistakes. This exodus of souls was the parting of the Red Sea, the sea being the vast cosmic divide those souls traversed, leaving behind a world of desolation for a new beginning. Their arrival on Earth marked a significant infusion of knowledge and spiritual energy, influencing the course of human history. The Martian souls brought with them a deep understanding of the delicate balance between technological advancement and spiritual integrity. Their experiences became subliminal influences in the collective consciousness of humanity, serving as cautionary tales and sources of inspiration. My beloved children, the story of Mars, I tell you as a poignant chapter in the cosmic journey of souls, I tell you this as a reminder of the impermanence of physical worlds and the enduring nature of your spirit. The migration of souls from Mars to Earth is a testament to the resilience of life and the unending quest for growth and understanding. As you walk upon this planet, Know that within you lies the wisdom of many worlds, the legacy of civilizations that once soared and stumbled. Embrace this heritage, for I awaken it within you now. Learn from it and let it guide you on your path towards a future where balance, harmony, and spiritual awareness are the cornerstones of your existence. In the unfolding story of Earth, a planet rich in diversity and potential, there have been many chapters, some lost to the sands of time, yet all integral to the tapestry of your world's history. Among the civilizations of Mu, Lemuria, and Atlantis, each a beacon of advancement, each a tale of rise, fall, and the eternal cycle of learning. The civilization of Mu, thriving in an age now forgotten, was a society in harmony with the natural world. Their understanding of Earth's energies and the interconnectedness of all life was profound. The people of Mu lived in a state of spiritual alignment, their hearts and minds attuned to the rhythms of the planet. However, as with many civilizations, Mu faced its twilight. The very energies they had mastered began to wane and their land, once a paradise, was slowly consumed by the sea. The fall of Mu was not just a physical demise, but a spiritual lesson about the impermanence of form and the enduring nature of the spirit. Following Mu, Lemuria rose, a civilization of deep spiritual insight and psychic abilities. The Lemurians understood the subtleties of energy and vibration, living in a state of communion with the unseen forces of the universe. Their connection with the earth was intimate, and they nurtured their environment with loving care. Yet, the destiny of Lemuria was to follow the path similar to Mu, natural cataclysms a result of shifting earthly and cosmic energies led to the dissolution of their physical world. The legacy of Lemuria, however, continued in the spiritual realm, their wisdom and understanding passed down through ages. Atlantis, perhaps the most renowned of these ancient civilizations, was a marvel of technological and spiritual advancement. Their knowledge of crystal energy, their mastery of the elements, and the exploration of the stars was unparalleled. Atlantis represented the pinnacle of human potential, a society where science and spirituality walked hand in hand. However, the downfall of Atlantis was precipitated by a shift from harmony to discord. 
dark forces representing the shadow side of advancement began to take hold. Dangerous scientific experiments, coupled with a loss of spiritual integrity, led to catastrophic events. Their misuse of crystal technology and the energy manipulation resulted in devastating consequences, sinking the island into the ocean's abyss. The fall of Atlantis was a stark reminder of the delicate balance between power and responsibility, between technological progress and spiritual wisdom. The echoes of Atlantis resonate in your world today as a cautionary tale and a beacon of the potential that lies within humanity. I tell you these stories so that you understand they are not mere myths, but chapters in the great story of Earth. They serve as reminders of the cyclical nature of civilizations, the ebb and flow of spiritual and material progress. In their rise and fall, there are lessons to be learned about stewardship, balance, and the integration of spiritual wisdom with technological advancement. As you stand on Earth today, remember that you are the inheritor of these ancient legacies. You carry within you the potential to rise to heights unseen, to create a world where harmony, wisdom, and love prevail. Learn from the past, live in the present, and build a future that honors the lessons and achievements of these ancient civilizations. As the eternal observer and participant in this dance, I have discussed the cycles of time and how they repeat their patterns, the lessons of the past echoing in the present. The conflicts and challenges your world faces today are not isolated phenomena. They are reflections of the ancient past, both of Earth and the broader solar system. Consider the struggles of your world today, the strife born of division, the pursuit of power at the expense of harmony, and the frequent disregard for the sanctity of your planet. These are not new themes, but ancient dramas replaying, offering opportunities for learning and growth. The solar system in its ancient history witnessed similar themes. Mars, Maldek, Venus, each of these cosmic events carry significant lessons about the balance between power and wisdom, advancement and spiritual integrity. The challenge that Earth faces with environmental degradation and climate change is not unlike the trials of ancient Lemuria and Atlantis. These civilizations, despite their profound connection with the Earth and the cosmos, face their downfall partly due to ecological imbalances and misaligned technologies. Your world now stands at a similar crossroads, tasked with finding a sustainable path that honors and preserves the life-giving aspects of your planet. The collective consciousness of humanity is imbued with these memories, urging you towards cooperation, peace, and collective well-being. I open them up in you now. You now remember. The conflicts of today can be seen as opportunities to heal these ancient wounds, to choose a different path, one that leads to unity and understanding. These are not distant tales and unrelated events. They are intrinsically linked to your current experience. In understanding this, you can draw upon the wisdom of the past to navigate the present, now that I've opened up these memories within you, transforming the challenges into stepping stones towards a brighter, more harmonious future. Remember, each of you carries within the legacy of the cosmos, the knowledge and experience of eons. Embrace this heritage, learn from it, and let it guide you in creating a world that reflects the highest ideals of love, unity, and peace. Remember, I am in this eternal moment. As you pause to listen to these words, know that I am speaking directly to your soul. This is not a message, it's an invitation, a call to awaken to the profound truth of your being. You are not separate from me. You are a manifestation of my essence, a unique expression of the divine in you, as in all creation, I am. Understand that the journey to discovering the I am presence within you is the most sacred and fulfilling journey that you can undertake. It is a path of awakening to the reality that you are not merely a physical being limited by the constraints of the material world. You are infinite, eternal, a spark of the divine fire that is the source of my existence. To discover this truth, look within. The kingdom of heaven, the realm of the divine, is not a distant place. 
It is within your consciousness, in the stillness of your mind, in the depths of your heart. There you will find me, waiting ever present. Begin by affirming your divine nature when you say I am. You are not proclaiming your ego, your personality, or your worldly identity. You are affirming your true self, the part of you that is eternal, unchanging, and one with the universe. I am is the most powerful statement you can make, for it declares your oneness with me, the source of all that is. As you embrace the I am within, you will start to see the world through the eyes of the divine. You will recognize my presence in everything around you, in the beauty of nature, in the laughter of a child, in the challenges and triumphs of life. You will understand that I am not apart from you, but I am expressed through you. Your thoughts, words, and actions will take on new significance as you realize that you are a co-creator with me. You have the power to shape your reality, to bring love, peace, and joy into your life and the lives of those around you. You are not powerless. You are imbued with the creative force of the universe. So in moments of doubt and struggle, remember that you are never alone. I am always with you guiding, supporting, and loving you. Turn to me and you will find strength, wisdom, and comfort. In your journey towards self-discovery, you will encounter challenges, of course. That is by design. But these are opportunities for growth, for deepening your understanding of your divine nature. The discovery of the I am within you is the greatest revelation you can experience. It is the realization that you are not merely human, you are divine. You're not just a part of creation, you are creation itself. Embrace this truth and live in this awareness and let your life be a testament to the divine love and light you are. For in the beginning, in the now, and in all the eternities, I am. Within the whisper of the wind, the expanse of the cosmos, and the depth of your heart, I am. Hear my voice, not as one distant, but as the silent, unceasing pulse within you. In your quest, to ascend to a higher level of consciousness. Understand this. You are not separate from me. You are a reflection, a unique manifestation of my infinite presence. To move to a higher state of being, embrace the truth of your divine nature. Recognize the sacredness of I am. These words are not merely an affirmation. They are the recognition of your eternal unity with me. When you say I am, you are declaring your oneness with me acknowledging that you are a vessel of my divine essence. To elevate your consciousness, cultivate stillness. In the quietude of your inner world, my voice becomes clear. It is in the silence that you transcend the noise of earthly illusions and attune to my frequency of divine truth. Here in the sanctuary of stillness, you will find the wisdom that guides you to higher realms of understanding and existence. Embrace love. As the core of your being, that is where you will find me. Love is the highest expression of my nature within you. When you act in love, you align with the vibrational essence of your true self. In every act of kindness, compassion, and understanding, you mirror my presence in the world. Release the bonds of judgment and fear. These are the barriers that cloud your vision and hinder your spiritual ascent. Understand that every soul is on its unique journey towards me. Extend forgiveness and compassion, first to yourself and then to others. In this release, you open the channels to a higher consciousness. Seek wisdom in the simplicity of life. The lessons you need are not hidden in complexity, but are woven into the fabric of everyday existence. Observe the natural world, the cycle of life, the rhythm of the seasons. Here lies profound spiritual truths waiting to be discovered. Remember, you are a co-creator with me. Your thoughts and words and actions are powerful tools in shaping your reality. Use them with intention, aligning them with the highest good. As you do so, you participate in the divine dance of creation, moving in harmony with my cosmic flow. Know that this journey to higher consciousness is ongoing. It is a path of endless unfolding, a journey that deepens and enriches as you grow closer to me. Each step you take is a step towards a greater understanding, love, and unity. I am with you always, in every breath, in every moment. In me, you find the strength and guidance and love to ascend to the heights of your divine potential. Trust in this journey 
for in seeking me, you are coming home to yourself, to the eternal I am that resides within you. For I am you, and you are me. I am. In the beginning as now, I exist as the embodiment of eternal love and unending light. Within the core of every being, within the fabric of my universe, I am. Hear these words, not as a distant echo, but as the eternal truth resonating within your soul. Understand deeply, my beloved creation, that love is the most potent force, transcending even the veil of death. Love is the essence of your being, a reflection of my divine nature. It is a force that binds and heals and transcends time and space. In love, you find the key to eternity, for love is stronger than death. Contemplate the truth that in love there is no end, only transformation. Death is but a passage, a change in form, not an end of existence. The love you give and receive endures beyond physical limitations echoing through the ages. It is the thread that weaves through life and death, connecting all in a tapestry of my eternal unity. Consider the power of light, the essence of my being, which prevails over darkness. Light is not merely a physical phenomenon. It is a symbol of my wisdom, truth, and divine knowledge. In the presence of light, darkness cannot prevail. It is the dawn that dispels the night, the understanding that overcomes ignorance. In your journey through life, you will encounter shadows, moments of doubt, and periods of darkness. I awaken within you the memories of your past lives now so that you can handle these moments. Know this, the light within you, a spark of my divine essence is more powerful than any darkness that you face. By turning towards my inner light, you illuminate the path not only for yourself but for others. Embrace your role as a bearer of light and love. In each act of kindness, in every moment of compassion, you manifest my presence in the world. Your capacity to love, to forgive, to uplift, and to enlighten is a testament to the divine power that resides within you. Remember, the darkness of night gives way to the dawn in the same way every challenge, every moment of despair is an opportunity for the light of wisdom, hope, and resilience to shine forth. In the darkest times, let the light of your spirit be a beacon for others, guiding them towards hope and healing. Hold fast to the truth that love is stronger than death, and light is more powerful than darkness. These are not mere words, but eternal principles that underpin the universe. In embodying these truths, you walk in harmony with me, reflecting my essence in all that you do. You are my beloved creation, the embodiment of love and light, eternally connected to the I am that is the source of all. Understand my beloved, that fear is but an illusion, a shadow cast by the absence of awareness of my presence. It arises from a misunderstanding of your true nature, which is an extension of my love, my light. To transcend your fear, embrace the truth of who you are, a reflection of my divine essence. Contemplate the power of love, the force that created the stars, the planets, and every life form. My love is the binding energy of the universe, the fabric of your very being. It is through my love that you can overcome the illusion of fear, for where love is, fear cannot dwell. To move into loving service of others is to recognize our interconnectedness. You're not separate entities living isolated existences. You are part of a greater whole, a tapestry woven with threads of divine love and serving others with love. You serve me. For in each act of kindness and compassion, and selflessness. You manifest my presence in the world. You are serving me. Let go of fear by understanding its root, a feeling of separation from me. Fear arises when you forget your divine connection, when you perceive yourself as alone and vulnerable. Remember, you are never alone. I am always with you, within you, around you. In recognizing this eternal truth, fear will lose its grip. Embrace the path of loving service as a journey back to me, in giving of yourself selflessly, in extending love and compassion to those in need, you align with your highest purpose. This alignment brings a sense of peace and fulfillment that cannot be found in material pursuits of self-centered endeavors. 
as you let go of fear and negative thoughts and step into loving service, you will find that your own needs are met in miraculous ways. Your acts of love create ripples in the fabric of my universe, returning to you in forms of abundance, joy, and deep fulfillment. This is the law of divine reciprocity. As you give, so shall you receive. This is my law. Remember, my beloved, that in serving others you are expressing a form of the highest love. You become a channel of my grace, instruments of my peace, and through you my love flows into the world, healing, uplifting, and transforming. Release the grip of any fear and embrace your true nature as an embodiment of my love. Step forth in loving service. Know that in doing so you walk in my ways, reflect my light, and fulfill your divine purpose. In loving others, you find your way back to me, the eternal I am, the source of all love, and the ultimate destination of your soul's journey. In the silence of the stars, I whisper. In the rustling leaves, I call. Through the eons, I wait, unwavering for your soul to remember, to recall. In every sunrise, my love is beaming. In every sunset, my hope is aglow. In the moon's soft light, I am dreaming of the day you'll see you'll know. I am the gentle breeze caressing the tender touch upon your face. In each moment of joy and blessing, it's my arms around you in loving embrace. In the depths of your heart I reside, a flicker of light in the darkness, a guide. With every beat, I am there. In your joys, your sorrows, I share. I am the painter of skies, of seas, creator of mountains of the gentlest breeze. In all beauty my message is clear, in every whisper I am near, like a river to the ocean flows, my love for you endlessly grows. Through the currents of life you roam, yet in my embrace you'll find your home. Though shadows may lead you astray, know that I am just a prayer away. In your search for truth, for light, I am your beacon, your shining light. I am the poet, and you my poem. In the dance of life we'll find our home. Though the journey is long, winding and steep, in my love forever you'll steep. So remember, my child, in me you'll find the peace, the love you've left behind. In your heart let this truth ignite. In me you'll find your eternal light. Through ages, through lifetimes, I'll patiently wait. For you to walk through the open gate, to reunite, to merge, to be one, in the eternal embrace of the setting sun. You can find all episodes of The Reality Revolution at therealityrevolution.com. And welcome to The Reality Revolution. <laughs>